Hey everybody, I'm Rockin' Robbie Billups for Pop Culture Philosophers, and it's time for a Robbie Rant. In particular, it's time for my weekly comic book review rant. Alright gang, comic books this week. I'm going to talk about a few that I read, my thoughts, my opinions. First of all, Doom Patrol number two. Now, I know that DC's young animal imprint is, is still very, very young, but there is so much hope and possibility, and I have so much faith in these books. Doom Patrol in particular, by Gerard Way and Nick Darrington. This book is phenomenal. It is so fun. It is so sleek. It is so hip. It is so weird and zany. It is the most unpredictable comic book out right now. You will have no idea what is going to happen in this book. This book is fun. Like, if you're into something new and fresh, if you want something different than the norm, check out Doom Patrol. This book is amazing. Also, a new one from Image, Mark Miller and Greg Capullo have done Reborn. Reborn number one was solid. It was pretty good. That's my favorite panel right there on the whole thing. Is that ship. That's so cool looking. The book is alright. If you already know the concept, when you die, you don't go to heaven or hell. You go to this crazy, like, fantasy war-torn land with dragons and demons and magic and... I don't know, it was interesting, it was alright. I'm not the hugest Capullo fan, I do like his work on Batman. But overall, uh, the coloring's really cool, it's it's decent. I mean, we'll have to see where it goes, but it's kind of just run, run in the mill. Um, Black Monday Murders, number three. Black Monday Murders is one of the richest, most complex comic books on the market today. It's written by Jonathan Hickman, it's got art by Tom Coker. This book is phenomenal. There is so much in it, it's so in-depth. It's about the seedy, ma dark magic side of the financial world and human sacrifice and everything. This book is so well-crafted and uses everything that the medium can do to its fullest potential. This book does everything that a comic book can do, and it does it perfectly to a T. Read this book, it's really good, really dark, really fun and scary. Um, Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man thing, Dead No More, The Clone Conspiracy. Well, the Jackal, or a Jackal, or some Jackal, is back and the clone things are starting. I'm interested in seeing where the clone thing is gonna go. I've been liking Spider-Man a lot since the relaunch after Secret Wars. I think Dan Slott's doing a great job. I really like this new take. This was a good, fun, solid comic book. It was a great start to a Spider-Man comic book event. It starts with a funeral, and like a lot of them actually do, and it just, it's got some cool action, it's got some nice little thrills. I like it a lot. I think it's pretty fun. I think that Spider-Man in general has been good. Um, check out Clone Conspiracy. Uh, it's, it's pretty decent. I like it. Mosaic, number one. Didn't really like this book. It was intriguing enough at first, but once he, he's, this is a new character, he's an inhuman, and once he pops out of his cocoon, I just, I don't know. I don't know. The book's meant to be disjointed towards the end, I believe. Um, I do not like the art at all. Um, it's the art is filled with energy, but it's just not my favorite. Um, I don't. I don't know. I didn't really dig on this book too much. Like I might read another issue to see where it goes. But Mosaic was just. I don't know. I didn't really dig on it. Another book I definitely did not dig on was Solo. This book is terrible. Uh, save your money. Unless you're like a super, super, super hard like Deadpool or Solo fan, check it out. But otherwise, skip Solo. This book was just <clears throat> dumb. Another dumb book. There were some bad books this week. I'm sorry, guys. Lost Boys number one. It's a direct to the. It's a direct sequel to the movie. So it's got, you know, uh, Michael and his brother. But it's 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 all right. If you're a huge, huge Lost Boys fan, you might like this. The Saxman cover is B.A. That's where it is, but I wouldn't recommend The Lost Boys. I don't think they did it very, very well. However, some more good books. Let's get to some good books here that I read. Moon Knight number seven. Moon Knight has been thrilling. I was really nervous at the end of the first arc of, of Jeff Lemire's Moon Knight as to what was going to be happening, but this book is so fun, and this is crazy, like, super zany, uh, Wolf Knights versus Moon Knights battle in space. This this book is going places. It's going weird, weird places into the psychosis of Moon Knight. You know, he's got all these split personalities and all this stuff. But dude, the use of the different artists in the book, it's just amazing. The art, the main art in this book, which is James Stokey, I believe. Oh my goodness. His stuff is amazing. Francisco Francovi is in it too, but his stuff is, the, the, his stuff's really cool. The Moon Knight, I mean, I, Read Moon Knight. Read Moon Knight. Moon Knight's cool. Wonder Woman. Greg Ruck has been doing a really decent job in Wonder Woman, and this is probably the best issue yet 
in the Wonder Woman run, I would say. It is a focus on Barbara Minerva, I believe that's who it is, but the, you know, Cheetah, the lady that becomes the Cheetah. And it's a little bit of her backstory. It's a really well done story. It's a really good tale. Dude, Greg Rucka is a, a fantastic, this is closer to something more like Lazarus. Like this is more what I was anticipating Rucka's Wonder Woman to be in this issue. This issue was really, really cool. If, like I said, it focuses on Barbara Minerva before she becomes a cheetah when she's on her mission to find the Amazons. But it's a really good one and done story that might lead to more little interludes that they're doing. And Darth Vader, number 25. The Darth Vader comic from Kieran Gillen and Salvador La Roca has been fantastic. Probably some of their best work at Marvel, period. This book was cool. Um, Darth Vader number 25 is the last issue of the series, and it is a perfect finale to this, this, this series. Um, if you haven't read the Darth Vader book from Marvel, read it. Like, it's over now. 25 issues. The whole thing is phenomenal. It's really cool. It actually gets into the character of Anakin and Vader himself. It, it's really fun, especially a highlight is the Vader down story. But Darth Vader's been really good, and that's a great finale. They got a new book coming out, Gillen and LaRocca, so let's see what it is. I'm going to say I think it's an Afro book. The announcements should be coming any day now. But those are some of the books I read. My pick of the week was Doom Patrol number two. Seriously, read Doom Patrol, check out Wonder Woman, read Moon Knight, and reread all of this Darth Vader stuff because it's really, really cool. Anyway, let me know down below some of the comic books that you liked. Well, what were your favorite comics of the week and which ones did you think just completely stunk? Anyway, thank you guys for checking out the video. Please do like, share, and subscribe. And check us out at popculturephilosophers.com for podcasts, blogs, top five lists, and a whole lot more. And I'll be back here next week with another weekly comic book review. Catch you next time.